is 3D printing ready to inject the innovation into the Middle East's construction sector? I'm Oscar Russo. Joining me is Neha Batia. Welcome to Construction Week in Focus. Middle East giant CCC entered into an agreement to digitise its procurement operation. This includes collaborating with Immensa Technology Labs to make big changes to its inventory and to allow CCC to 3D print spare parts for construction sites. Now, Neha, what's really interesting about this deal? Well, the deal will really allow CCC to completely virtualize its um, warehouse and inventory. So as part of the deal, Immensa will provide a platform that will allow the contractor to create a digital inventory of its spare parts and components. Um, now, these are spare parts. These are the materials that were traditionally stored in physical warehouses but as part of the deal, will now be converted into a digital format and stored in a virtual warehouse. Um, additional parts will be produced when they are required using 3D printing and other processes that will help to reduce the need for companies to actually maintain inventories. So as a result of using Immensa's platform, CCC will be able to minimize imports as well as stocks of physical parts and only produce them when needed through a virtual warehouse. I mean, that's very fascinating and you can see the tangible benefits for the construction industry, but it's not the only time that 3D printing has made headlines recently. Earlier, CW spoke to Naji Atala from Autodesk, who said that Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 cannot be achieved without disruptive technology such as 3D printing. And similar initiatives are underway in the UAE as well. For example, there's the Office of the Future, the world's first fully functional 3D printed building, which opened in 2016. Um, in the same year, Dubai Metro said it was using 3D printing to up upgrade some parts of Dubai Metro stations. Uh, now, Fami Al Shawa, the CEO of um, Immensa, told Construction Week in July 2017 that um, aesthetic and architectural elements would help to drive the growth of 3D printing in the UAE and it would then be used for structural uh, parts of buildings. So clearly a very exciting time then for the industry. Thank you, Neha. Well, you've been watching Construction Week in Focus. We hope you've enjoyed the video. If you've enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up. And if there's a topic within construction or technology that you would like us to cover, please leave that in the comment boxes below. And remember, we publish new videos every Tuesday at 9 a.m. Thank you for watching and goodbye.